Hey guys, good afternoon. Josh Alter, owner and the founder of the Bio Dude. I wanted to give you guys my new building tour today. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys. This has been eight months of hard work, grind, and we had my grand opening on this past Saturday, which we had over 200 people through the door. It was quite a special day. And I'm really excited to show you guys kind of what I've accomplished these last couple months, go over what's coming, as well as uh, just kind of give you guys a little bit of a tour. As you can see, we're now open Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and our hours are 9 to 4, Monday through Friday. Um, this is the address that, that you can come and see us. And let's go in and take a look. You're always going to see my little girl right here. This is Lucy. She's guarding the sign. Not only is my building protected by the Second Amendment, it's also protected by my fur babies. Um, come on, Lulu. Hi, baby. Yeah. So, first thing that we're always going to see is the plants. So, I actually, out back, built a huge greenhouse that is uh, 20 feet, it's, a, it's 32 feet by 15 feet, holds about an 18 wheeler and a half of plants, which is exactly what I needed because I'm going through so many. I'm really looking forward to getting in other types of succulents and desert plants this upcoming year in 2020. Um, and I got a lot of other really cool stuff in the works as far as more soil inoculants, um, things to prevent fungus gnats, treatment of fungus gnats in a completely organic way that isn't going to mess with your springtails and isopods. Um, and I have a bunch of cool stuff. So I wanted to share you guys, I, I started carrying Universal Rock, which I'm really, really happy with. Uh, I'm not carrying it online yet. I'm waiting for my specialized shipping boxes to come in, but don't fear guys, by the end of first quarter of 2020, the buyer dude is gonna have the entire universe, almost the entire Universal Rock line on the website with free shipping, as well as here at the Bio Dude Houston. Um, over here, you can see all some of the different woods and stuff that I have. So this past weekend cleaned me out. I got some Malaysian driftwood, some Mopani, some cork bark tubes, cork bark flats, different varied sizes of sandblasted grapevine, and of course everybody's favorite, the ghost wood. Love, 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 love the ghost wood. I'm sure you guys are asking, well Josh, why are you wearing a suit? Because this is how I now dress every day. I will not only exude professionalism, but I will make sure that you know, that I am presenting myself in a way that is always going to represent the image of what this hobby should stand for. We also have a lot of different feeders now. We carry silkworms, bean beetles, mealworms, superworms, blue bottle spike fly larvae, red runners, orange heads are coming next week, fruit fly cultures, springtails, both arid and tropical, isopods, both arid and tropical, and we have a full selection of frozen. I have all adult types of mice, rats, and even quail. They're all completely guaranteed to be clean and, you know, euthanized humanely with ethical standards because, you know, some people, which I'm not, I'm not about that. Lulu's throne is over here. So this is like the checkout area. So this is where I end up getting, you know, we end up getting everything together. We have the BioDude swag up here. I still have to get the BioDude, uh, Backpack, backpack added onto the uh, website, but I'm retailing those at $12.95 right now. Same thing with the Arctic tumblers, which are becoming a, a big, big favorite to a lot of my locals here. And of course, I have all my marketing materials and stuff down here. You guys know I'm all about education, so we have a bunch of educational materials that we're always giving out for free to our non-wholesale customers. So I guess, I guess I'm going to show you a little bit about the shopping experience that I wanted to create here. So you guys see the substrates over here. We then have the entire, the entire biodegradable section, thermostats, heat mats, heat domes, some more woods over here, which I was really happy for. We have the manzanita, the grapewood burrow tunnels, the choya, the bamboo. Yeah. Uh, and then of course I started carrying rocks. Now, rocks are only for the point of sale because shipping rocks is very, very, very hard. It's expensive. They have to ship by themselves and you need very special boxes and able to do it. If I find that it consistently becomes a beneficial thing, then I will, to, to, to try and sell online, then I'll consider it. If people ask me to try sell online, I might consider it, but it's gonna be expensive because I'm gonna have to factor in the cost of shipping per pound into the rock, just because of how much they weigh. But just to give you guys an example, this is bone stone, and uh, this is some cool stuff here. I absolutely love this stuff. It does great in, in a ton of the different setups. 
Um, there are very specific minerals that you can use. There's some minerals that you can't use because sometimes they can break down, alter the pH, and other things like that. So all of the stones and stuff that I'm selling are 100% vivarium safe and 100% good for longevity if they end up being broken down or utilized by your cleanup crews. Um, over here, as you can see, I got a bunch of the different lighting. I got the, the, uh, the uh, Botanica ends with some custom Botanicas in here. There we got uh, all my lights, terrarium decor, and all that other stuff here. Uh, and again, uh, it, it's great. I can't believe how many people I had coming in here through the door on opening. It was crazy. I never expected that type of turnout. It was very humbling and rewarding. Um, I got a universal rock waterfall that unfortunately is leaking, which I'm not very happy about. But hopefully they do something about that. Um, I, I ended up getting in a, a couple more of the feeders and all the different types of supplements and stuff. So I actually got some of these for free and I'm trying them out here um, at pretty low cost to my customers. This is a new company called ProBugs. Now, uh, my biggest question to them is, well, how are you gut loading them and preserving them? And they told me that they, that they take very specific precautions and make sure that they're only uh, gut loaded with organic ingredients. So I'm always gonna recommend live, especially for lizards and things like that, but this might not be a bad option if you have picky animals or if you just wanna offer something a little different. I mean, just for example, they have centipedes. I mean, that's pretty cool that they have. They have centipedes, silkworms, rice worms, grasshoppers, very similar to your canos, but not filled with as much junk. And you can see Lulu over here. Look at, look, look at her. Oh, <laughs> good girl, Lulu, I'm proud of you. Um, over here, so we have some, we have some fruit fly culturing supplies, some culturing kits for the springtails and isopods. And then over here, we have a bunch of other stuff. Hey, hey Riley, we got a customer here. And then let me show you guys the showroom. So this is something that I really wish I would have done a video so you guys could see what this place looked like. So for me to get this building, I, about eight and a half months ago, I flew my dad down here and I applied for a small business loan and I got it. And I gotta tell you guys, that was probably the most stressful, besides the move and dealing with the move was probably one of the most stressful things of my life because the government, the packets were about this thick just to apply for the loan and then them making sure that you have enough skin off your back that the bank can milk you every single month. And that was tough, but I got it. This building is mine, I own it. And the fact that I still had enough capital to be able to completely redo this building, to completely put in new floors, new walls, new countertops, new break room, which I'm gonna show you guys, it really is, makes me so happy I was able to pull this off. So all of these tanks, you guys should recognize them. Um, I have a couple new ones here, but you guys know my Cubans. I added a couple more branches into the Cubans just because the, the tree that I put in there outgrew the enclosure. So that was a little bit of work, getting that fixed. Um, in here is my emerald tree skinks. You guys know all about the emeralds. I do video and talk about these guys all the time. I actually have a new female into the group, which she's doing great. In here are my Chinese gliding frogs. Oh, touch hands. <laughs> and one thing I love about these guys is how big their, their, their feet are. It is absolutely amazing. Um, amazing how awesome these animals are. You guys know the cinnamon tree frog enclosure, which is thriving. The red eye tree frog enclosure, which is thriving. They're breeding. I have tadpoles and babies. We got the Borneos, we got Smithers. We got the dumpy tree frogs, the corns, the, gold, the, gar the pair of Amazons and the uh, oscillated skinks. So let me show you the Amazons. I'm pretty happy, they're doing quite well. Um, the, uh, the, the, uh, I believe the male is up there perching. He's doing pretty good. He loves his little heat dome. As far as the maintenance on all these terrariums, guys, they are hooked up to an automatic mist king and they really don't do much. Um, other than that, with fresh water and feeding, you can see the snakes, they're doing so well. You can see Fierce as they're waiting for his meal. This is probably one of my oldest bioactive enclosures. This soil is close to 10 years old. This, and, and this is my firma. And there are so many different types of isopods and biological processes. I mean, you can just see on the top layer here how it's all just mega pieces of wooden stuff because that's pretty much all that's been left after all the decomposition processes kick into place. And you guys know I've had my dumpy group for years. 
This is the exact, this is, this is, could be another one of my oldest enclosures. So this is my terra fauna and my original hydro grow still going strong. And you can see how well the terrarium is doing with my group of dumpies in here. So these guys are actually going to be getting an upgrade. The Borneos and the dumpies are going to be put into 36 by 18 by 36s when I have the space. I just, or when I have the time, excuse me. It's been tough because you know, I don't got a lot of time. So down here is my Desert Hairy Scorpion video, uh, the Desert Hairy Scorpion, which I love this terrarium. I couldn't do a YouTube video on this one, although I really wanted to. And this is actually a broken waterfall that I transmixed into to make it look more like a ruin. This is Dragonstone right here, which is another really cool thing that I like to, that I, that I like to start using. So again, guys, I really started using different minerals in the terrariums. And I really hope that one day I can have an entire mineral station on the website. Watch out, you do. We have a cobalt blue tarantula in here, and he's actually right down here. I gotta be careful. He's already getting his webbing up top there that you can see. It's a little dark, I apologize. But right now, these 18 cubes are per are, aren't their permanent enclosures except for the Desert Hairy. They will, both the, the, the banded white and the uh, cobalt, uh, the uh, green bottle blues, excuse me, are going to be getting larger enclosures. Down here is Diabito. Yes, his name is Diabito, and he's not out right now. He is my oscillated skink. He's about two years old, and he was born with a spinal deficiency. And I decided to keep him, and he lives in this enclosure all by his lonesome. And he actually is thriving in here. I want you guys to say hi to the Cubans, because I'll be honest with you, these guys are my favorite. Mm -hmm. So I would love for you guys to get a Cuban night and all and tell me, tell me if you're able to have this type of relationship with them. I've had these lizards for years. They were rescues. I've had them literally two weeks since they were out of the egg. The owners was keeping them on pine shavings. They had upper, upper respiratory infections. They had fungal infections. They were an absolute mess. And now they are breeding, thriving, and have created tons of different babies for me which are over here in the baby section. So we have no doo-doo zones. So in here, this is where we end up keeping everything clean, like all the cleaning supplies, so I don't want Lulu to get in there. But when I show you guys the warehouse tour, you're literally gonna see these signs everywhere, and Christina did a great job with them. So you can see some of the baby oscillateds for sale down here. I have about eight of them currently for sale. We also have some baby cubanoidinols for sale right here. And again, I produced all of these and they're doing great. You can see some younger ones over here. And I just got this guy in up here. This is a Baron's Racer. So these guys are really crazy, crazy snakes. They like to climb and they also are very quick. Hence the name Racer. So I only have one. Michael thinks it's a male, but we're still not entirely sure. Um, but he's currently eating frozen thawed right now and he's thriving we have a pair of, a, of emerald tree skinks in here and i have a lone male emerald tree skink in here he was part of my group but gator being the big alpha male that he is said no up here we have some i gotta actually move this rack down but we have some captive bred amazon tree boas up here so again guys i'm still getting settled but this gives you a little bit of an idea of kind of what i'm starting to do am i going to start selling live animals yes Am I going to be starting to ship live animals? No. I plan on offering a lot of different types of captive bred animals here at Fire Dude Houston next week, starting with my red eyes, my dumpies, some dart frogs, different types of lizards, maybe some bearded dragons. And of course, everything's going to be 100% captive bred and everything's going to be 100% vet certified because you all know my wife's a reptile veterinarian. So it works out. In this room, we have the creation station. So we're going to go in here. So this is where the customers come to essentially create their own custom builds and we get them set up in here. You guys know the Aki's enclosure. I can't wait for Zach to come down um, for us to redo their PVC cage and give them exactly what they need. There's 12 inches of soil in here and they have been breeding off the chart. And this is how I've like did it, have been training my employees to take care of all my critters. I have dedicated care guides that go through Monday through Saturday that goes so that way everything can be done appropriately and then we always always write down the care or what's noticed and that's another thing you can expect from me if you buy a snake from me you're going to have a weekly feeding log so that way you know the snake's eating 
or any other types of notes and notations. So that way you have a history of the animal you're purchasing, and that is so important. Hi, you. you. I really appreciate you guys coming in. Thank you so much on this 20 YouTube video. Um, in here is my customer service. So uh, this is Christina, Christina's desk. She's my head of marketing in HR. Um, and then I got two customer service desks over here. Now let me take you over here to the other side. That's Riley. She's actually working on Texas now. She's one of my newer hires here. And she's been doing great. All right, so let's go over here. So my building is about 9,000 square feet. And I have an additional back area, which I'll show you guys too, that's fenced in. So this is my tank storage room. So in here, this is my entrance to manufacturing. That's the only thing I'm not gonna show you guys is my manufacturing. Um, in here, this is where I keep all of my LEDs and my solar grows that I import. This is all of the different tools and more overflow for consistent inventory. I'm a big stickler with PPE. So I do have a safety officer and we do do safety meetings every quarter as well as provide numerous different levels of PPE to work in the warehouse, especially now since I have a forklift. So then we're gonna go over here. Let me get the light turned on. And guys, this tank inventory was cut in half from Saturday. We sold so many. So in here is Brittany's office. Brittany is the property manager. Say hi, Brittany. Yeah, uh, we all love Brittany. Okay, and I actually have my own office now, which is really, really exciting because you guys know I didn't have my office at the old building. And I get to have one of my favorite specimens in here. These are my Brazilian galley wasps. These guys are an awesome, awesome species. I purchased them from the Frog Whisperer a couple months ago. I received them in, I want to say, the beginning of November. I didn't do a build video on these because it was literally right in the middle of the move. But they are awesome, awesome lizards that are live bearers, and they're very, very, very rare. I have a deep layer of firma in here for them to give them their humidity spikes. And once winter is over, I'm going to be giving them a heat source. But right now, I'm more along the lines of mimicking winter. I got my Jason Witten signed helmet, number 82. He's my favorite, even though the Cowboys have been irrelevant for 25 years. Still love him by heart. One of my employees actually got this for me for Christmas which is pretty awesome. And then, I don't know if I ever showed you guys, this is the original BioDude logo. So after everything with Genesis failed, I was pretty distraught. And this is what Michael and I came up with at three o'clock in the morning on a drunken, depressed night. And then that night immediately turned into a, the everyday, daily grind that it is today. All right, let's keep going. So then we got, this is more storage room in here. And I only use the sparklets water. We go through about, I don't know, we go through about 20 of these every two weeks when it comes to the Miss King or when it comes to refilling the animals' water bowls or refilling the employee dispensers. We just we fly through this stuff. But it is clean and it's, it's not hard water like your Texas. In here is my filming studio. So again, I redid all these floors. I'm still working on getting some of my lights redone. As you can see, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But this is the actual filming studio, and it's really nice to have the whiteboard back here because it really helps me clarify some of the information that sometimes it's not so easy to remember on the top of your head, but making sure that we're providing accurate information. Now, something that you guys can expect, um, I'm going to be hosting a lot of different opinion leaders on my YouTube channel this year. I'm gonna be flying Mariah Healy down from Reptophiles, which I'm super excited for. Um, I've approached a couple other big name people in our community. So in here is the bug room. So this is where we culture all the springtails and isopods for sale. This is my rotating arid. This is my rotating tropical. And then these are just some of the isopod cultures. And you're like, bio dude, how do you only have six isopod cultures? Because A, mine are just booming like crazy. But B, um, you guys know I only ship isopods and sell isopods, you know, a couple times a year online. And that's just because of the headache with shipping. I hate shipping live animals. So, you know, that's why, that's why I don't have near as many. And so that way when the time comes to pull, I'm good. All right. And then we're going to go to the break room. And again, this room I had to completely redo. I put in this wall back here, put in a whole new sink, shelving, redid new floor, painted, ceiling, all of it. And I'm so happy that I'm able to have a break room for my people because my old, my old facility did not have a break room. And honestly, work-life balance is super important. 
but being able to get away from work while you're at work for even if it's a half hour or whatever is so important to, to honestly everybody's mental health. So we actually just had a Christmas party yesterday on, on two, two days ago. So we still have a little bit of the, uh, uh, we still got a little bit of, of food left. But one thing I'd like to show you guys, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, which is entirely true. I got my Big Lebowski poster that I've had since the day of opening on January 1st, 2017. And I, of course, have Prison Mike. Prison Mike. I love it. And that's how we keep track of a clean refrigerator. And then, so we're going to be entering the no doo zone. So this is the biodegradables room. So this is where we package all the sphag moss, the leaf litter, the palm, pretty much every, anything and everything that has to do with biodegradables. It's packaged right here in this room. Just going great because it makes it so much easier. Okay. Let me show you guys order fulfillment. So my door to my manufacturing is in here. So as you can see, I'm really stickler. We got forklift rocking and rolling. We have to wear specific PPE. No Lulu zone and this side of the door has to be locked at all times. And actually let me get this door unlocked. So let me show you order fulfillment. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you the back area because RNL is currently here right now picking up um, a couple pallets that are going out to one of my many, many different pet stores in the area. So we're back out here into the showroom area, rocking and rolling, and I just love the view. I love how this looks. Oh, uh, it's, it's my sanctuary. So enter order fulfillment. So let me tell you guys. I'm really excited to show you, and but this is a work in progress. This isn't done yet. Okay. So, as you guys know, all of my boxes are manufactured. There's just one left I still am still working on. But the best thing about my boxes is everyone's like, Bio dude, why do you charge so much in shipping? I charge a lot in shipping because A, I have, I have the specially designed boxes to handle the weight of the products I'm shipping. These boxes can handle up to 250 pounds of crush rating and they're double corrugated to protect the products they're in. Every, every aspect of my packaging is 100% recycled down to the BioDo tape that we use, 100% recycled. The boxes that we use, 100% recycled. The bubble wrap that we use, 100% recycled packaging paper that we use, 100% recycled. The shipping envelopes that we use, 100% recycled. And let me show you guys, I love this machine. So, you guys know there's the complete care kit section on my website. I'm gonna be launching all of those kits in January. I'm so excited, because that's gonna include the tank, the heat, the UVB, the plants, the woods, everything. And you're asking me, Bio dude, how are you gonna ship tanks? So you guys know I ship tanks via pallets right now, unless it's 12 by 12 or 18 or smaller. I just got done designing a box that can ship an 18 by 18 by 24 Exoterra via FedEx ground. I can take that box with the tank in it, hold it five feet high and drop it on the ground and it doesn't break. How, Bio Dude? 100% recycled uh, paper crusher that will protect the tank. So I wrap the tanks in these in the box, guarantee you, your percentage of it coming in broken, it's cut in half. Will some come in broken? Probably. Am I gonna cover them? Yeah. So I'm still in the process of redoing my conveyor belts. I have all, I'm gonna be ordering automatic conveyor belts that are gravity fed, that are gonna be double, so that way we can pull these more. And they're, as they're gonna be gravity fed, it's gonna come over here to a scale that is then gonna be hooked up to the two laptops that are gonna be connected to the wall. The moment the package ends up on the scale, the scale is going to put the weight into the computer and all they have to do is select the, the proper label. Print out the label, close the box, get it on the line. So that's kind of how we're doing it right now, but my efficiency for order output is going to go up significantly as I continue to invest and improve on my shipping protocol and standards. I got to tell you guys, the hardest part about having an online business is having employees that are efficient enough 
to be able to handle the to be able to handle the consistent speed and flow that we need to be able to rock and roll. So as you can see, we have a pallet going out right here. Uh, this is for one of my distributors. This is probably about 1,500 pounds of substrate back here. Uh, back out here is my back area, which is another 1,500 square feet that I have completely sealed off. That's where my greenhouse is and all that good stuff. So let's go over this way. So as far as other stuff that are up and coming this year, I got a lot of soil inoculants. Um, I'm really working on a heat dough, heat ball blind, but I'm going to be honest with you, while I loved working with other countries, I'm really trying to find more American made products and it is very, very, very hard to find manufacturers in the United States for this type of niche market, but I'm working on it. I did find a manufacturer in Germany, no, in Germany though for, for UVB bulbs, and you guys already know I already have my solar grow which fit all the standard sizes of T5 UVB. Hint, hint, BioDude's gonna have UVB at some point. Hint, hint, really soon. All right. I dig it. So come out here. And then we're right back here at the entrance. Hi, Olivia. Hi, how's it going? Good. O o Olivia's one of my order fulfillment specialists here. So again, guys, this was a very brief, quick tour. I didn't want to go too deep into it, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for everybody who's been supporting me, who's you know been with me through every step of the way. Um, I really can't thank all of you enough. I also have to put out a thank you to all the haters because that's some of the best free uh, marketing that I get because the Rabs group, all those people, every time you talk crap on me, those people always come to me and buy stuff. So keep it up, guys. Love it. And again, Come here to Biodude Houston Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come check out my showroom, maybe do a little bit of shopping. Come and meet my Lulu. And I really appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your support. The dude abides.